So, in your test, the number one is we need to identify whether Are you videoing this? Yeah, a prime number, whether a number is a prime number or a composite number. Are you going to send this on YouTube? I can, if you allow me. Can you copy? Huh? Can you copy? What do you mean copy? Like copy. copy. Yeah, sure. You're you're free to copy the, the the notes on the board. But you know, if if you're if you'll be watching this on YouTube, no need for you to copy. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> yo. You're stuck in this classroom, right? I can edit. Okay, um, in number one, the first question was for you to identify uh, whether 97 is a prime number or a composite number. Okay, if you remember the list of prime numbers, this is actually the highest prime number before 100. Okay, we did that like in the first week of the class, we listed like certain uh, several numbers that are prime numbers and the, the highest number that we that we actually uh, obtained or identified as a prime number is 97 so there, there are many ways to to identify a prime number one is to remember what are the basic prime numbers okay and 97 is the highest before the hundred okay but in concept the difference between a prime number and a composite number is based on its uh, factors. For a number to be prime, the only factor should be, can you tell me, what should be the factors of a prime number? Okay, so the factors would be one and itself. And no other factors should be there, right? So the most or the, the smallest prime number is two. Because 2 is just uh, 2 times 1. So the factors of 2 are 1 and 2. So it's 1 and itself, the 2, right? So you, you cannot identify any other pairs of whole numbers that when you multiply them, you get a 2. Hence, 2 is a prime number. Before, we also said that 2 is the only even prime number. So this is the only even prime number. The rest of the prime numbers are odd numbers. And 2 is the only even prime number. It is the smallest and it is also the, uh, the only even prime number. Okay, so if I will ask you, is 4 a prime number? Why is it not a prime number okay so if we list on the factors you said one it can be okay it can be divided by one it can be divided by four by itself what other numbers can divide four two but we said that the condition for a prime number should be the only divisors are one and itself but we see there's an extra number even just one extra number, that will make the number a composite number, okay? One, four, and there is two. Four in factored form is one times four. It is also equal to two times two. So we have other uh, numbers or factors for the four. So is, is four a prime number? No, it is a composite number. Now it is a... It is easier to identify numbers if they are small. And one of the problems that I gave you is identifying if 119 or 119 is a prime number. So it is not something that we could easily remember if it's an, a prime number or a composite number. So how do we know that you can divide it by other numbers aside from 1 and 119? Can you suggest me a way? on how to know whether this number is a prime number or a composite number. How do we know if it can be divided by another number? 
any suggestion now we could identify this if it is a prime number or composite number okay divided by random numbers okay now if we say random numbers how do you select those numbers so even if they're random there must be a systematic way of doing this like should I just use 50 should I use 61 to divide 119 what can you suggest Okay, so it's an odd number, so we, we could expect that a possible factor or a divisor is also an odd number. Okay, so we, we have to consider it ends with a 9. So what number can divide a number that ends with 9? Or what numbers can produce 9? 3, right? Something with a 3 can produce a 9. 3 times 3 equals 9. So we, we check whether 119 is divisible by 3. Okay? You could do this manually or you could do this using a calculator, but let's do it manually. 119 divided by 3. 3. So that's a 3 and that's a 9. That's 29. Is 29 divisible by 3? Are you sure? No. No, right? 27, yes. 30, yes, but not... 29. So, it's not divisible by 3, but can we say it's already a prime number? No, right? We have to test more numbers. Oh, aside from 3, 9. Okay. If you use 9, so we divide it by 9. This is 1 times 9 is 9. 29. Is 29 divisible by 9? No. No. Okay. So, 9 will not work. Okay. Actually, I don't know if you, if you are familiar with the technique... Like, given a number, you can actually know if a number is divisible by 3. Any technique that you know, if a number is divisible by 3. Okay, if it adds up to 3, 6, or 9. Actually, if, if you add up the numbers, remember you have 1, 1, 9. If you add 1, 1, and 9, so this is what? 11. 11. If the result is divisible by 3, then the number itself is divisible by 3. Is 11 divisible by 3? No, right? So 119 is not divisible by 3. Is it divisible by 9? No. No. Actually, if it's not divisible by 3, it cannot be divided by 9 because 3 is a factor of 9. Or in other words, 9 is a multiple of 3. Okay, any suggestion? Other suggestions? What else can produce a 9? 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 4 is what? 4 times 4 is 8. 16. 16. 5 times 5? 15. 15, not 50. 25. 6 times 6? 7 times 7? 7 times 7? 49. 49. It ends with a 9. So hopefully, we, we don't know. So we could try 7. So if we divide by 7, so 1 times 7 is 7. This is 11 minus 7 equals? 11 minus 7. Take away 7 from 11. 4. So we have 49. 49 divided by 7. 7. So it's exactly divisible by 7. Okay, so 119 is actually equal to 7 times 17 and we found other numbers as, aside from 1 and 119 okay so is it a prime number or composite number composite number okay so 119 is a composite number so do you know now the difference between a composite number and a prime number okay so this is what we have covered for the first video okay so you, you could like be tested with other numbers, but the idea will remain the same. As, as soon as you can find uh, another number aside from one in itself, then the number is not a prime number. Okay, so, yeah, so how do you know? You have to test it by dividing some numbers. I suggest you start with smaller numbers, 2, 3, 5, 7, and use just the prime numbers. Hmm? That's for your classmates' paper.
Okay, so that's for the first. We'll move on to the next.